Hey guys, welcome to Kidventure Catch-Up. We're so glad you joined us today. Miss Brianna and I were afraid our playground equipment was getting a little lonely out here, so we came outside for a little bit of fun. Today, we're gonna hear a story about Joseph from Miss Renee. So Miss Renee, go ahead and take it away. This is Joseph. He had 11 brothers. His dad gave him a special coat. His story comes from the Bible. The Bible is true and it is God's unfolding story. In the beginning, God created everything and it was good. But the people disobeyed God, which was bad. But God loved us so he chose a special people. He had a special plan and he sent Jesus to help us by dying on the cross for us. Remember, Jesus rose from the dead and he began the church. Now Jesus is in heaven preparing a place for us. Joseph was one of the special people that God chose. When we last heard about Joseph, he was in prison in Egypt for something he did not do. While he was in prison, he interpreted two men's dreams and helped them understand what they meant. The men were very happy to have Joseph's help. Both of them were able to get out of prison and Joseph asked that they would remember him and help him get out of prison someday too. Both the king's cupbearer and the baker were able to return to work for the king. One night, the king had a dream that he did not understand. The dream was of cows, seven fat cows and seven skinny cows. He was very confused. No one could tell the king what his dream meant. The king's cupbearer remembered that Joseph could help the king understand the dream. He told the king about Joseph. The king went to the prison to talk to Joseph. Joseph helped the king see that the dream meant that the land would have seven years with lots of food and then seven years of no food. Joseph was released from prison and put in charge of helping prepare the land for what was to come. Joseph learned that God had a plan and that he could trust that God was with him wherever he went, in a pit, in Egypt, and even in jail. He also knew that God would always help him. We can know the same thing. Come back next week to see what happens in the land when they run out of food. Thanks for joining us for our story today. We'll see you again on Monday. Bye.